wow this is atrocious lighting and an atrocious angle it'll get better in a in a minute i just wanted to do an intro first readings and salutations friends so right now it is the night before oz comic con adelaide 2023 nearly forgot the year that it was just then that would have been embarrassing i'm currently painting my nails black because i am cosplaying harley quinn from the suicide squad specifically the 2021 suicide squad film tamari and her nails are black in that film and then on sunday i am cosplaying bloom from winx club and i really wanted to do a convention vlog because for anyone who doesn't know like i talk about it a lot but like my main thing on the internet what I'm main known for as a content creator is cosplay and I feel like I just don't really do anything cosplay related very often on this channel and I would really like to bring more cosplay stuff over because it is like the thing that brings me the most joy in this world besides Taylor Swift so I would like to just kind of try and incorporate a little bit more so I thought this would be a fun way to do this and because I love watching other people's convention vlogs because cons make me happy this is my first time going to an Oz Comic Con specifically since 2017 because they stopped coming to Adelaide for a while and then they only came back like after the pandemic last year but I had COVID the exact weekend that it was here so I obviously was at home and did not attend and I just feel like weirdly really unprepared um for tomorrow I have to wake up like crazy early because I am trying to apply all my Harley tattoos and I also like have not done a makeup test for Harley I have cos like worn that cosplay before a couple times but truly not for like an entire year and I cannot remember what my makeup process was and I also am trying to change it I usually just used my normal like foundation and concealer because I am so pale naturally that like I felt like it was light enough but because I'm going to a con and you know I want to like take it up a little like a notch so I have you know gotten some actual paler than normal products to use none of which I've tested so like it's a it's a whole thing I feel really unprepared but I'm going with a bunch of friends tomorrow uh, my friend Taylor is picking me up early and we're going to try and go do a, a little shoot get some photos before we head off to the convention and then on Sunday I'm going as Bloom from Winx Club, which I'm very, very stressed about. I'm very excited about, but she's very much so like a character that I haven't even posted online yet um, because I only finished styling the wig yesterday and I use air quotations because I fucking hate how it looks. I'm super, super unhappy with it. I was not qualified in styling in the way that I attempted and I think it looks terrible and I don't really want it to be seen, but I obviously don't have time to, to do anything else. We're gonna take her out, I guess. And I also haven't worn the, the wings really longer than like half an hour at a time. So we'll see if they actually stay put for a whole day but yeah I don't know I'm just I'm really nervous about it Sunday I'm also going on my own as well so like that's always kind of scary because I do have social anxiety but again I try to not keep it from I try not to let it keep me from doing things and I know that cons make me happy and I know that they're selfishly good to get content which is my job so I'm gonna go but it's scary especially because I am so nervous about wearing that cosplay for the first time it's very scary and very nerve-wracking and Hopefully I will have a lovely weekend. We'll see if this actually turns into a vlog. There are so many experiences that I always want to vlog and then I do not end up vlogging them. I'm not too worried about how neat this looks because I feel like even though Harley's nails in the film look really perfect, like I feel like her nails wouldn't actually look good. Like it can just be messy like that. But anyway, I will see you at the ass crack of dawn in the morning, um, probably after I put my makeup on because your gal is insecure. <laughs> okay, hi, good morning. Um, I'm coming to you from the morning of Oz Comic Con Adelaide, day one. It's Saturday. I'm here. I'm currently waiting on my friend Taylor to pick me up so we can go do a shoot before we head off. And she's also going to, because she's an angel, help me tie up this dress because it's very hard to do lace up back dresses on your own. She's also going to help me put the tattoo that's on Harley's back shoulder on for me because it's just a very awkward placement and I am nervous to do it blind um, and without being able to see. But we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head off. I think it's like 8.45 a.m. Uh, the con starts at 10. We're hoping to get there around opening, but if we're a little late, that's fine. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. I need to go unravel my javelin so it fits in a car. Look, I have a helper now. Where are you? What? <laughs> Hi. I have a helper. She's done my tattoo and she's now helping me with my dress because she's Sweet little angel baby. Cosplay handler. She's a cosplay handler. We're doing a vlog. We're getting Macca's hash browns and coffee. Ah, uh, facts. Because I need caffeine and Taylor needed hash browns. That was so cute. We're parked. 
We did. That's that's the update. That's that's pretty much the whole update. We have coffee. Oh, that's terrible. Focus on you. Oh, look how pretty your eyes look though. So that's the update. We're we're parked. <laughs> She's being the main character right now. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. This audio is not happening, but we're here at the con. <laughs> Yay! So we want to do introductions around my sphere. Oh God, do we? Yeah. I'm Luna. I'm here to be Parker. I'm Ash. I'm Tyler Witch. Slay and Taylor's here. I'm Taylor. We're here. We've been getting photos. <laughs> Things are happening. Okay, so I just got photos done with the incredible steam kittens. Taylor's having fun with my javelin. Luna is getting photos now in her incredible PW Parker cosplay. I have no idea if you can hear anything that I'm saying right now. I'm so sorry that I'm just in the middle of walking away. <laughs> oh gosh, stop it. We'll get like perfect like angles. Stop it! I have to fight him up. You went to a bush and with the flower. Hold that flower scene. Yes, yeah, yeah. Just moving back a turn. Sorry, I fell in love with you. Okay, so go step forward. Excellent. Should we do it? Yes. Should we do it? Let's just get photographed. Let's just get photographed. Let's just get photographed. Let's just get photographed. Professionally. So fine. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Just kidding. What a loser. I would die for her. You're a whore. You're a whore. I love you. You're a whore. Do a mother. Look at her. Sick. Okay, we are leaving the con now. Taylor and I are still, still here. We did a lot of things that I didn't film because I am too awkward to film anything in public. I think Taylor filmed a lot of like footage of me when I was getting my photos like taken and videos taken of me by some lovely people around the cons. I will try and make this into a video but how was the day my love? It was good it was great except for the fact that I almost got murdered. Taylor got by chased around Michael Myers. by Michael Myers for like a long time like yeah. she was being stalked in her full Laurie Strode era. Yeah that should be your cosplay it should be Laurie Strode. Yep. Yeah. That's not even a cosplay anymore. That's that's who I that's, you've lived that's that. Yeah. You've lived that life. Yeah. But yeah, it was really, really fun. Everyone was super lovely. So if anyone who's watching this said hi, um, because a couple of followers came up to me. Hi, thank you for being lovely um, and making me feel comfortable. I'll see you in a second. I'm back home now. I should get out of cosplay, but I'm so tired that I cannot be bothered to even do that. I need to shower and like scrub off all of my tattoos and take off this nail polish, repaint my nails blue because I'm cosplaying Bloom, so I can't have Harley tattoos and black nail polish for Bloom. That's simply not allowed. I'm so exhausted that I simply don't want to get up. I had so much fun today though. It was honestly more fun than I expected because I always think of like Adelaide cons as so small that a lot of the time I feel like I run out of things to do within like an hour um, because Adelaide cons just were a much smaller city than a lot of other ones. So like our cons are much, much smaller by nature. But I think maybe Supernova specifically last year was just really small. And I felt like I I was constantly finding new things at Oz Comic Con to do. And I feel like I will still have new things to do tomorrow because um, I was a bit nervous about doing everything today and then being there tomorrow on my own and not having anything to do and just kind of being there and like waiting for shoots all day and just feeling like a little anxious. But no, I'm, I'm actually excited to go again tomorrow. And I would try to be very good about not spending much money at all today. So I can spend a little bit more tomorrow when I have nothing to do except go shopping for some of the day. But I, I had a wonderful time. I met so many people. I took so many photos. I 
it's really silly but i have like such major imposter syndrome about being a cosplayer because i like i the first time i cosplayed was in november of 2019 which is a little while ago but like it still feels like i'm very very new to it and i feel like i gained an audience online for cosplay very very quickly when i had only been to like two cons like as a cosplayer i've been going to cons since i was 11 but i'd only cosplayed at two and I just feel like I got an audience for cosplay that was I was very undeserving of and I still feel very undeserving of it but to kind of like be in a space with a lot of other cosplayers and to be able to chat with people who in my head are so much more like talented than I am who are on an insane other level and to get to chat to them and have them be asking me questions and be kind to me and being approached by so many different people to take photos of with me or with me and videographers wanting like footage of me for their YouTube channels like things like that it's so gratifying and validating um, in terms of me feeling like I have a place in this space and that I'm deserving of a place in this space. Um, because obviously cosplay is for everyone, but it's just me feeling undeserving, I guess. Today was super fun. Um, there was a couple of other Harleys and we all got super excited and like chatted with each other about our costumes. And th the, my least favorite thing ever is when there are like people at a con who are dressed as the same character as, as you, or you see two of people dressed as the same character and they act really, you know, rude to each other or they act like they're in a competition. I really don't like that. And I understand that cosplay, the cosplay community, especially now, like online, it feels like we're in competition with each other a lot of the time. So I think, you know, making sure that we lift each other up instead is so important. And so I'm so glad that that was the experience, but it was just so fun. And I loved that we're all so lovely. Every, every single person I met was insanely lovely and insanely wonderful. I got to work with some amazing photographers. I got to hang out with my friends all day. I got to meet some followers, which is always insane. And I hope that I don't disappoint people who meet me, but I am still very, very nervous and anxious about cosplaying Bloom tomorrow because I still do not like the state that that week is in, but I, just don't know what else to do with it with the tools that I have because it's now Saturday night I can't buy anything new to, to use on it um so I kind of have to accept that there's not much work else I can do to it and I just have to accept it for what it is yeah sorry that I didn't vlog much while I was at the convention when I was like in the con hall I I felt like you couldn't hear me whenever I spoke so it was very awkward to pull that out and then whenever we were outside I was kind of always taking photos so it got a little bit hectic I think Taylor filmed quite a bit of me with photographers um and hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of footage tomorrow I'll probably be even more anxious because I hate pulling out my phone in public but hopefully I will get some footage tomorrow while I'm in Bloom cosplay. Good morning from Sunday. It is like 8.50 a.m. I am in cosplay minus my wings because I'm not gonna put those on until I get to the convention because I will not be able to wear them in a car. <laughs> this is my first time putting on the full Bloom cosplay with the wig and my first time I hadn't even done a makeup test for Bloom before. I actually really like how the makeup turned out. I still am so unhappy with this wig. I could not make it work in a way that I wanted it to. I just couldn't. I was kept trying to add some volume up top that I just couldn't couldn't get. I had initially when I tried to cut her face framing bangs just cut them way too short so I've now tried to hide that those pieces up here because I was too scared to reattempt them because I really fucked up and I obviously like couldn't afford to buy a replacement wig so I probably will at some point for Bloom and I'll do a better job but for today at least this is how I look and I have to live with that Shout look at my Barbie on my shelf I'm really excited about the fact that I'm cosplaying Bloom this is very like healing for my inner child um despite the fact that I'm very insecure about how I look yeah my mom bless her soul is giving me a lift to the convention today because I am on my own today and I am relatively comfortable wearing cosplays in public now, but catching public transport in my city is still a little scary. It's all right once you get into the CBD because generally there are other people catching public transport in cosplay, but I live in suburbia and the expressions that you get on public transport are iffy. So my mum is an angel and offered to give me a lift. I'll be heading off soon to get there for the 10 opening. I think I might head down. I think I have like 15 minutes until my mom gets there. I think I might head down to the grocery store near my apartment and grab some snacks to take so that I don't have to buy the overpriced food there unless I decide I want to because I'm saving money like an adult. Okay, hello. I hate filming anything in public. I am at the con. I have signed up for the cosplay parade, which is like a beginner's level kind of entry into stage cosplay stuff because I've never done it and they approached me and I said yes because I like put myself out of my comfort zone but now I'm terrified 
I have a shoot in like 10 minutes, so I should probably head to meet them. But I've just been walking around, I've bought some things because I'm on my own, so I'd be spending money to have something to do. I've still taken a lot of photos, everyone like knows the cosplay and the character, which is super cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I just did a shoot with the amazing, amazing photographer. I'm, I'm gonna put her handle on the screen because it's hard to say Instagram handles out loud. But she was the sweetest person, I was so nervous and I was just compliment vomiting at her. But it was so lovely, they were so sweet and so kind and the photos that they took looked amazing and I'm so excited to see them. I'm sitting down to have a snack now, which I did go to um, Woolworths, which is a convenience store for those who aren't Australian um, to buy. I've been hitting so many people in the face with my wings, it's actually chaotic. Yeah, I'm having a really nice day. I was so fucking anxious about being alone and I'm having a lovely time. Someone hit me in the face and tell me that I don't need to be so anxious about everything all the time, please. Things have happened. I did another little quick shoot with an, the sweetest, most incredible photographer ever. Uh, he just kind of approached me um, while I was in the steam kittens line and we went and did a little shoot across the street with some pretty trees, we found mushrooms, and then we had like the nicest chat about wings ever, and they are my new favorite person. Um, then I did the cosplay parade, which was petrifying, but then like was also the simplest thing ever, but you know, I've never done cosplay stage stuff before, it was terrifying, and I'm hungry again, so now I'm sitting down for another snack. Riveting content, I, I know, I'm so sure. Hello everyone, I am back home now after the con. I realized that I didn't actually film much at the con either day, but especially today because I was on my own today and filming alone sucks. I kind of wish that I had found someone to film me on stage in the parade, but I didn't really have anyone to ask. There weren't any volunteers or anyone like near enough to me that I felt comfortable asking them to do that. Um, I've got some post-con McDonald's now, which I'm gonna annihilate before I de-cosplay because that takes like half an hour to do and I'm hungry now so we're gonna eat in cosplay carefully. But I had the most wonderful day I did. Again, still insecure about this wig, still probably gonna invest in buying another and giving styling another attempt where I'm a lot more fucking careful. I love cons so much, I really do. And I love the cosplay community so much. I was so anxious about going alone today because you know, I have really bad social anxiety and I think as well there's a certain extra like fear I think that comes with I am so incredibly lucky that people ask for photos and stuff frequently with me which is amazing but I when I'm like on my own especially I get so anxious about having to lead a conversation and being really bad at that um but everyone was just so lovely and welcoming I did multiple shoots today I did the like actual photo wall again with Steam Kittens when he was there. Um, and then I did two like little shoots as well with amazing, kind, wonderful photographers. One of them just approached me and now they're my favorite person. We talked about Winx for like an hour and I love them and I'm obsessed with them. And I'm so excited for those photos to, to be edited. They all looked like the raw photos looked amazing. And I was like stalking their other work and they're all so wonderful. And I just met so many kind people and so many people recognized my fit and like got really excited about the fact that it was Bloom and like Winks and it was really, really cool. And it was, it was just so much fun. I love convention so much. I love cosplay so much. I, the older I get, the less I care about how much of a nerd that makes me. I just don't give a fuck. It brings me so much joy. It's my favorite thing in the world. And the fact that I get to do this and I get to have people support me while I do this, who are fans of what I do, you know, who want to see new cosplayers, who want to support me, like that's insane and something I've dreamed of and like I can remember, I can remember after the first con I ever cosplayed at, you know, coming home and thinking it was insane and I was so cool and so famous because like five people had asked for photos of me and saying to my mum like it was a pipe dream because I was just on such a high from how much joy that had brought me of like imagine if I got to like travel around like different states doing this and I get to do that now like you know not everywhere Adelaide and Melbourne I, I kind of tackle because my friend Laura is an angel and lets me stay with her in Melbourne but I get to stay with a friend in Melbourne like I, I get to do multiple cons a year with different cosplays at like all of them and I get to go to cons interstate and like make friends, make connections, hang with Lua because they're an angel. Like I get to do all of that and I, I'm just really 
grateful for it. I really am, honestly. Yeah, this was barely a vlog, but I hope that you enjoyed this little, oh, this Comic Con Adelaide vlog. If all goes to plan, I'm going to try and do a Melbourne vlog, so we'll see how much I actually vlog over there. I thank you guys for watching this, and thank you for everyone who gives a fuck about my cosplay. It makes me so happy. It brings me so much joy. Thank you for allowing me to do this. Thank you to everyone. You know, if any of you guys watching this like, have ever seen me at a con and said hello, um, thank you for doing that. You are amazing. You are so wonderful. Thank you for doing that. I love you guys. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you for letting this be something that I get to do.